The fact that this team didn't give up, you know, our players still uh, were committed to doing everything in their power to win games, even though the roster changed. You know, with the new cast of characters brought in, you know, we kind of found some mojo and and uh, and all of a sudden started to impact that win column a lot more in the second half than we did the first. For the final two months of the 2016 season, Yankees fans saw a different team take the field than the one that started the season. There was energy, excitement, and youth, and the results improved immediately. Despite trading off four important players at the deadline, the Yankees contended for the postseason until the season's final week, something many thought was impossible. The biggest catalyst for the team's resurgence was catcher Gary Sanchez, who hit at a historic level in his first extended taste of the majors. The 23-year-old's performance was so impressive that he now gives general manager Brian Cashman a different mindset with which to work this offseason. As we move forward, it gives great comfort in the fact that we have what we believe is a high-end performer for years to come. That's now our hope and expectations. It also gives us some opportunities to entertain you know, some thoughts. Do you trade McCann or do you keep the combination of Mac with, uh, with Gary? One's right-handed, one's left-handed. So it gives us a lot of flexibility, both from trade perspective-wise as well as uh, hoarding you know, uh, the catching talent that we do have. The Yankees' plan is to build around Sanchez, and that plan has already begun. Other young players surrounded him down the stretch, and many others project to make a major impact as early as next year. One opening is at first base, where the retiring Mark Teixeira will have to be replaced, and the plan is for youth at the position. Our hope is that Greg Bird, it's you know going to be his to, to take and to control. Um, Tyler Austin's going to have a lot to say about that, I'm sure. But you know, in terms of forecasting and planning, which in baseball, you know, you have to use those terms loosely because you know things never go as, as planned. But uh, the hope is that Greg Bird mans that position and becomes you know the player uh, and hits the ceilings that we expected before his shoulder injury. It isn't just first base where a young player could take over. Cashman also expects names like Judge, Hicks, and Austin to compete for time in right field. And perhaps most importantly, the Yankees have a strong collection of pitchers on the verge of helping the team contend. We do have uh, arms that we're excited about that are coming, but at the same time, you can never have enough. You know, we'll keep you know, giving opportunities and adding to that arsenal of, of uh, pitching that we already have, if we can do so. And, you know, hopefully those guys uh, that we do have from AA on up can take the next step and actually start impacting the win column at the, at the highest level for us as early as next year. In 2016, some of the prospects Yankees fans have heard about for years finally arrived in New York. Sanchez obviously exceeded all expectations and didn't miss a beat. But others struggled or faced growing pains in their first taste of the majors. Hopefully, as they reflect on their 2016 season, they can adjust and come into 2017 ready to help the team return to the postseason. Some of the beauty of getting the, a lot of the younger talent exposed from August and September in a pennant race uh, to, to you know, Major League Baseball for the very first time is that let's get some of their growing pains at this level out of the way sooner than later so it'll speed up the process of, of getting some of the better consistent play that they're capable of uh, that we believe you know, for us in 2017. So hopefully we have enough of the talent that we need that however you sift through it, you know, you know, we're gonna have a competitive team that's left standing. You can see more Yankees on demand and Yankee scoreboard content by clicking here. And you can subscribe to our YouTube channel right there.